In today's video, I want to show you how to find a lost or stolen phone on Google Maps using only your Gmail account. Hello my friend, my name is Collins Egorge. Welcome to my channel, Learn with Mr. Woke. How are you doing today? Hope good. But if you're not doing good, I really understand. That is why in this video today, I want to show you how to find a lost or stolen phone on Google Maps using your Gmail account. I'm very sorry if you lost your phone, but just stay with me to the end because after this video, you are going to have an idea on how to find your lost or stolen phone using the Google Maps. But before I start, I'd love to tell you one first step to take when you lost your phone or it gets stolen. We all know that each phone has an IME. IME means International Mobile Equipment Identity. So the IME tells you more information about your phone. So whenever you lost your phone, first of all, before I will tell you how to track your phone with Google Map, I will tell you how to check your IME, your phone information, so that you can report it on Google that it has been stolen. So first step to do is that you go to your Chrome, either on your phone or on your PC. But in this very tutorial, I'm using my PC to show you. You can do this on your phone too. So just follow these steps and you'll get the whole thing working. All right, when you open your Google Chrome, come to the search list and search for ime.info and, and click enter. When you click the enter, you can see here they say check IME number to get to know your phone better. So you now go to your phone and look for your phone IME number. You can look for your IME number on your phone, go to your phone settings, go to phone information all about, click on it and you see your IME information. But if you can't find it on your device, just dial this short code on your phone. Tar hash 06 hash. Now your IME will pop up on your phone screen. So when your IME pop up on your phone screen, you now type it here. For my own phone, for instance, this is my IME. Let me type it. So when you enter your 15 digit IME number, you come here in this place and click this very place to show that you're not a robot. Now you now come here and tick this uh, panda in forest so that they will approve you to show that you're not a robot. After clicking on this, you come here and click the day verify for it to verify. Okay, they are giving me another one to click. So when you verify it, they will approve it. Now you, you cannot enter to check your phone information. Alright, so you can see that I've entered and my phone information has appeared on the next page. This is my phone. It's a techno pover. You can see right here my phone information. So let me see the phone has gotten stolen. So I will type here and see all my phone information. So since it has gotten stolen and I'm trying to look for a way to track it to find it. But in this very IME information, you can't track your phone. I'm just trying to, to digress to tell you that in case you lost your phone, you can use this first step to report your phone that it has been stolen or lost. So after seeing all your phone information, you now come down here and set look at it here, it said report stolen or loss. So you click on this report stolen or loss. So when you click on this report that stolen or lost, which will show you where to fill your phone information. You fill the IME number, your phone status, you fill the model, you come down and uh, you write the time when did it happen, when your phone gets uh, stolen or lost. You come down and fill the whole information, you now come here and click agree and report. So once you click report, it means that you have sent to Google that your phone had been missing. So whenever time they find some information about your phone, they will email you or call you through Google and show you about the next step to go. But however, in this very first step, I'm not showing you how to track your phone. Now I want to close this page now and show you how to track your phone with Google Maps using your Gmail. All right. The first step was just in digression to show you how to report to Google that your phone was stolen. So in this very step, I want to show you how to find your phone on Google Maps using your Gmail. It is a live tracking location that you track your phone live and find the location in which your phone is at that very moment. What you've got to do is that you just come to any browser, either Firefox or Chrome, but me, I like using Chrome. 
come to Chrome and click on Chrome. You can also do this on your phone. Like, but for this very tutorial, I'm using my PC and this is the Chrome browser I'm using. So once you come here, you will now come and type Google Find My Device. You can see right here, Google Find My Device. And you should also know that Google Find My Device also has an app. It is a feature that Google installed on Android phones, whereby whenever your phone gets missing or is stolen, you can use Google Find My Device to track your phone's live location. You can find Google Find My Device on your Android phone. Go to your phone settings, go to security, and you see a list of options, Google Find My Device. You can click in any of the options and go to Play Store and download the app because it also has an app that you can download. So now, when I type Google Find My Device on my browser, I'll click Enter. When I click Enter, it, it will load. You can see they will give me a list of options. So just come to this first option, Find My Device, and click on it. So once you click on it here, you can see here yeah, this very interface will appear. Please make sure that before you find or track your device on Google using your Gmail, your Gmail must be installed on that phone. Like for instance, your Gmail must be on your phone. It must be the Gmail that you use in signing up the phone when you first purchase it. You can see right here at this interface, you can see here it's showing me the Google. Why right by the left side here is showing me about the phone's information. But this very phone you are seeing here, Infinite Smart 6, is not my phone. This is my friend's phone. I once tracked this phone when it was missing. And this my friend is right here with me. You can see his location here. He's still around where I live. So let me see for instance, I want to track someone else's phone that was missing. You can see right here, here is my account. My Google account, calling egoji at gmail.com. But if I want to track someone else's phone that was missing, I'll click on it. And come to add another account once i add another account the phone will also appear in this history and it will also be among the list of this history here through it i can track it but for this very account i have added three phones here this very infinite smart six is my friend's phone why the one at the middle here this is my own phone techno power while this very last one is my former phone that got crashed so if i click on it here the information will not appear because the phone has crashed and have erased the whole data on it so this one at the middle is my techno power this is my phone and one interesting thing about this google Find my device is that once you click on it it will show you your phone name last scene and your battery percentage so and also show you other way you can play the sound and everything so here is where my phone is right now it's still at where i live I'm at home now, so it's where I live. This is my phone. This very icon is, is my phone. So this is the location of the phone. Let me say the phone was missing and I'm tracking it live. I now click here and zoom it. You can see here is Egoji's apartment. This is my home. This Egoji right here is my name. So I pin my name at my home, Egoji's apartment. So it's showing you that my phone is at this location. For instance, if this phone is taken to Kubwa, Maraba, even, even London, it will show you the live location where the phone is. Let me see, for instance, the phone was being stolen and I have driven down to this axis where the phone is, where the Google is showing the live location with police. You know, once I drive to this location, I can't go about asking people, entering house to house, asking people, where is my phone? No. So Google also give you a list of options right here that you can do. Now, let me say, for instance, I have driven to this location and I'm trying to get a sound of where my phone is so i'll come at this very place sound and click on it when i click on it my phone will start ringing as you can hear from the background that my phone is ringing so once i click on this place sound my phone will start ringing at least through the ringing i can hear where the sound is coming from so that i can go there and arrest the person or track it track the person but i want i click it again i see it's still ringing and one more interesting thing is that even if the phone is on silent, once you click on this place now, it will start ringing loud immediately. That's a feature that Google made it to happen so that at least you can find your device. Okay, now let me also say, for instance, I have tried other options. Let me say, as my phone was missing, I couldn't find it because the phone was switched off. Google also gave me other options on what I can do. Now, let me say, I have some information on my phone that since I couldn't find it, I'm scared that people may log into my phone and steal some information, maybe ban information. I can come at this very option and click on it, secure device. At least through here, I can lock my phone so that a person cannot have access to my information. 
Google also gives another option that you can erase and format your phone. You can see click here and erase your phone. Once you click on this erase, it will format all the information on your phone. All your data on your phone will be formatted. These very options are used if you cannot be able to track your device. Maybe the person switch it off or maybe he destroys it so you can't find it live on Google. But once your phone gets missing, this Google Find My Device is a very good option you can use to track your device because it will show you your phone's live location. Just do all these steps and you can do it. You can also do it with your Android phone. Let me say your phone was missing and you don't have a system. You can use your friend's phone and go to uh, his brother and, and click Google Find My Device and come to where they will ask you to add your own email. Once you add your own email, your phone will appear and show you a live location of where your phone is. So you can drive there with police or any security to go and arrest the culprit. If you are new to this channel, after watching this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel because you never regret subscribing to my channel.